the simulation went pretty well. So the men's scenario was a male from 43 years old that had chest pains for a while. He came through um, the hospital over there, so we assessed him basically with the resident doctor, the nurses, installed an IV, did an EKG, and it turned out that he was having a heart attack. I hopped in the helicopter, started doing pre-flight checks. Uh, somebody on the ground gave me a thumbs up. The patient is on the stretcher and is coming. Once the patient is inside the helicopter, then we start up. It's an eight-minute flight from the Grand Prix to Sacré Cœur. Through the trauma center that has a helipad, we get here, and then there's the entire team ready to set them up. Why is it necessary to have that kind of setup at the Grand Prix, like having a helicopter there and having to come here? There's many different reasons, actually. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of people. There's only two bridges to get out of the island, so with an ambulance, it could be something that's very, very difficult. Who can be airlifted if need be? Anybody who needs it, basically. Uh, for sure, um, if there's drivers that crash, but same thing if someone in the public has a major injury that needs care right away, the fastest care possible, they can actually take the helicopter and come here. Famously, in 2007, uh, Robert Kubica, the F1 driver, had a really nasty crash at the Canadian Grand Prix. The helicopter actually landed on the course, picked him up, and brought him straight to, uh, to Sacré Cœur. If we decide we're not able to fly due to weather or, or other conditions, then the support races can happen, but nothing F1 can go on track. That's the last resort. We don't want that to happen, but yes, we have the last word. Yeah. The government recently announced that they were going to be creating a network of heliports around the province, including here at yeah. Sacré Cœur. How important is that to have in the province? It's everything. We're the only province in Canada that doesn't have an inter-hospital helicopter transport system. For us, being here is the perfect way to demonstrate how from one expediter hospital to a receiving hospital, we can transfer patients effectively. These pilots going 300 kilometers an hour down the casino straight, if anything happens to them, we want to be able to save their life.